Okay, so I'm back. I wanted to, you know, go ahead and do a little review for tonight's Real Housewives of Atlanta. So I rolled out of the bed <laughs> to do so. Um, it was kind of hard for me to follow. This was, this episode was kind of dry, but hey, it was what it was. I'm sure they got a probably about 19 to 20 episodes lined up for the season. So this one specifically was called Duking It Out. So. Um, here goes my little review, hopefully in less than 10 minutes. So, first thing, the Phaedra and Kenya in action. I was like, look at them being grown-ass adults and stuff, speaking to one another and whatnot, being cordial and whatnot at um, Cynthia's party. That was cute. That shows a real sign of adulthood, which a lot of times on these particular types of shows, we do not see. We only see people being petty betties. But hey, I thought that was cute. Moving right along, Mallory, my dear, you are not Peter's wife. If Cynthia is okay with Peter walking away from her or um, she doesn't say anything about it, she may not be okay with it, but she has not verbally out of her mouth said anything about him walking away or she's not continuing to chase Peter down about him walking away, let that ride. People only do what you let them, what they, people only do what, you know, you let them do to you. So, that being said, if Peter walks away from Cynthia when they're trying to resolve conflict or, conflict or whatever the case may be, Cynthia allows that to happen. There's nothing you can do about it. So, hey, I understand that's your sister and that's your Judy, this, that, and the third. And, you know, you don't really see it for Peter, but baby, just let the cards play out. Let the cards, you know, be laid out where they may. Let it play out. Okay? Okay. Alright, and I'm so excited to see Kim feels. Regine, Regine. <laughs> okay, I'm excited about her on the show. I feel like she's going to be a new calm to the show. I don't see her jumping off and being real crazy because I don't think she's ever been that girl. I've loved her since way back in the back back from Facts of Life and stuff. You know, Tootie, that was my Judy as well. Oh, look at me rhyming. I got a rap career. EP coming out. <laughs> I'm just lying. Anyway, but I'm excited to see her on the show. Um, her actual vibe reminds me of that of Deshaun Snow from the very first season. So I hope it don't go the same way for her where she's, you know, put off the show. Because she doesn't have enough conflict or juice or tea as the case may be. She gives me very, very established artist or actress who's, I'm here for the arts. I'm here to be you know, focus on my career. I'm not here for the bullshit, okay? But anyway, moving right along. So, Portia has the lingerie line coming out. That's cute. I really do like the fact that Portia has been, you know, jumping into different um, ventures as far as entrepreneurship, um, as, you know, making herself profitable, if you will, or being able to sustain herself since having left Cordell. Because we all know that pretty much Cordell was, um, for lack of a better word, sponsoring her. Or, you know, yeah, Cordell was her meat and potatoes, if you will. So, I think she's done a great job so far as far as, like, you know, branding herself with the hair, being on the radio show, now the lingerie. Um, she's tapping into what sells. Right now, um, a lot of us are into weaves, and I was going to say a lot of black people, but... A lot of us, period, are into, like, the weaves, the virgin hair, this, that, and the third, um, into sex sales. So, why not get you a piece of that that lasts you forever? Somebody's going to always want to be sexy. Somebody's going to always buy some hair. So, go ahead, Portia. Do your thing. Um, another note I made was about Phaedra and Cynthia. Their little powwow and sit down. It was cute or whatever. Again, a positive spin on how to settle conflict and or differences with people because they didn't get along and they and to be they made it clear and Cynthia did say you know I do apologize for what I brought back to the group and what I said yada 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 so they did that was really 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 noble of them to sit down and um hash I guess not necessarily hash out their differences but put their differences behind like Phaedra said let bygones be bygone so that was cute and then I was looking at Candy and Sheree and I I I was like, oh, I didn't know what to really feel about that because 
Um, Chef Ray had all the commentary about things that have happened last season. I mean, I guess she watched. She could have watched the show like everybody else, or because she still lives in the area somewhere. Um, Shay, um, I ain't shit for that. That was, yeah. Because she still lives in the area, I'm sure she does still get her fair share of Atlanta tea. And I just thought that was interesting. I'm interested to see how their um, relationship will go over the course of the season. Because Candy don't bother nobody, but baby don't fuck with her because she blows up. I believe Candy might, on the low, drop a pillowcase over your head and fuck you up if you really push her to it. But that's just my opinion. Anyway, next segment they did, they brought on Kim and he showed her and her family life at her home with her husband, her kids. I think that's really cute, but again, that does still give me very Deshaun Snow, but I guess they do have to introduce her into the show. Um, just kind of, I guess it's just, like I said, an intro, an intro to her life because, honestly, we haven't seen a lot of her since, like, living single, to my knowledge. I mean, I know she's been doing a lot of behind-the-camera scenes, and stuff like you know as far as directing and that kind of thing so yeah I think that's just that's just what this segment was to give us an intro into her life so we'll be looking forward to seeing her more in the in the coming parts of the season um so duking it out Portia introduces everybody to her boo thing now I don't know when this particular party took place but last episode I know they were saying that they had only been together for like maybe a month, month and a half at that time. So, I, was it his birthday? Or I didn't un quite understand the premise of the party. Because I, I heard us mention like having a sip and see. Like I think it was Phaedra that did that a couple seasons when she had one of the babies. Um, yeah, I didn't. Okay. Go ahead, Portia. I mean, he fine. They say he like the girls like me, but hey, babe, what's up? But I ain't really trying to steal nobody's man. No, man, that's not my cup. But, you know, if you like it, I love it. I think Phaedra, I'm uh, oh, sorry, I'm not Phaedra. I think Portia is actually just in the process of living life because if she was with Cordell for such a long period of time and she had to, she was kind of tied down with Cordell not necessarily being happy, not necessarily having a chance to experience her young life as far as dating. Now, what I agree with Candy on this, she does not need to try to buy a house with this man. Um, because, baby, if y'all are not married, there's no reason for y'all to be cohabitating. And, you know, cohabitating to the point where you're splitting a mortgage or supposedly splitting a mortgage. Because most times it's going to be in one person's name or the other. Say it's in your name, he up and leaves, y'all take, but you plan to pay it with you guys' Um, with both of you guys' income, he up and leaves, that puts you in a financial um, damper. So, I'm sure you could manage, but not a good idea to just up and buy a house with, you know, somebody. As far as I know that you've only been dating for a month, month and a half, two months. But, hey, he is fine, though, girl. He is, mm-hmm, fine. But, yeah. Um... Last thing that I really notated on was Candy and Phaedra's talk. I was waiting for this because I, like I, said, I really want to see them become good Judys again. And, um, of course, I'm sure we didn't see the whole talk. I'm sure the talk went on for hours, or at least a hour. I'm sure it went on for a while, so um, I'm sure we didn't see it all. But from what they showed... I hope that they're really in a better place now, or at least they can make progress towards being in a better place because I know that when people, when you lay everything on the table, it's not automatically resolved right then. Anytime you've had, you have a conflict with a person and you get it all out, that's just what you've done. You've gotten it all out. Now it's, you know, it's trying to, you have to decide where you're going from here or how do we proceed from here. Do we go right back to being with each other every day? That may be too much too soon. If we don't try to meet with each other sometimes, that's too little. So it's really a tricky place. I've had quite a few friendships of my own where, you know, we've had falling outs and um, it just never kind of goes bad. Like I saw this uh, meme or meme on, I think maybe Facebook, where it was a broken plate. And a whole plate, like somebody had dropped a plate and broken it in half. Yes, you can put it back together, but it'll never be the same. 
So I get that, but I do think when you work at friendships, they can be made to be salvageable and they can be great friendships even with conflict or, you know, turmoil that you may have had in the friendship. But let me not ramble. Moving right along to the end of this, I didn't like how Candy's management had so much to say about the thing. See, that's what's wrong with a lot of times. We settle disputes with one person, but then another person has a comment on it which gives you a... Uh, gives room for you to have different thoughts than what your initial feelings, tr your initial true feelings were. Because whatever you felt after that conversation, Candy, should have been what you felt without any additional additives added to it. But hey, I know that's your manager for years, so you probably respect his opinion a whole lot. Not knocking him because I, I'm just as guilty. I have opinions about my friends and their other friends and my friends and their relationships and I try my best not to offer those opinions unless they ask unless I just really can't hold it to myself so maybe that was one of those times anyhow um yeah that was this episode um I'll still try to watch this season cause I know I fell off last season have not watched last season yet maybe I'll catch up on it maybe I won't but until next week or the next video girl bye <laughs>